All right, well, we have two balls here, and they're resting against two objects that the rules of golf say that we can move. One's up against a loose impediment, one's up against a movable obstruction. Now, the rules of golf say we can move both of these things under the rule 15. Now, if we go to our pine cone here, the key to this being a loose impediment is it's a natural, unattached object. Pine cone's natural, came from a tree, it's not attached to anything. Now, although the rules say that I can move it, in this situation here, once my ball moves, I'm going to get triggered a one penalty stroke for doing that. Now, I don't have to replace that pine cone, I can get it out of there. But I do have to put my ball back on its original spot, or I'm going to be playing from the wrong place. There you go. Now, in this situation over here, with a movable obstruction, again, difference between a loose impediment and a movable obstruction, this is a not a natural object, it's man-made, but I can still move it with these. Same thing, move the break up, ball moves, but in this situation there's no penalty to myself. I'm just going to move this back, and to be honest with you, I don't know where it was because I wasn't paying attention, so in this case I'm going to estimate where my ball was in its original location. I'm going to estimate that it was about right there. Ball's back at rest, we have two balls back at rest. That just shows you there's a clear difference when you're moving loose impediments versus movable obstructions. Got to be a little more careful with one versus the other.